Well, hello everybody. Uh, welcome back to Twinkle Plays The Binds of Isaac Rebirth. I finally fixed the uh, ratio of these videos. For some reason, I wasn't recording them in the full aspect ratio there, but now I am because, you know, I looked a little more into the settings of the thing I'm using to record. Alright, so we had a win last time, as you can see from our win streak of one. That's... that's good. Wins are good. Hopefully this will be another win as we play... Oh, good. Isaac. I thought that was going to land in the Lost. I'm not getting a whole big variation in the characters are playing, but uh... It seems they're always giving me Isaac... Or, like, well, I had Eve at one time. Isaac, Azazel, Eve... Oh wait, no, that Eve was when I wasn't recording. I forgot about that. <laughs> But we have, oh, Isaac and Azazel are like the two most popular ones, it seems, for me. Which I'm not upset about. I mean, if you had to choose two characters to always be given me, I'm pretty okay with those two. At least it's not like The Lost and uh, Blue Baby or anything. Lost and Lazarus. Oh, well, Lazarus isn't bad, man. Ow, spider. Alright, so let's see what we get from our first room. Now remember I have a D6 in case I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, Mom's Eye, I guess. Yeah. Mom's Eye will sometimes shoot out of the back of your head as well. I have to remind myself about the D6 because like I've said in the past, I often just forget I have it. Oh, okay, we're going to take this damage and get through there to hit this. I know it's a dumb way to do it, but you know what? I'm dumb sometimes, and there's a heart in here. So everything worked out. That's what you call using your resources. And if your resource is a bomb that wants to murder you, you know, you gotta use it. I wish I had a bomb for this room. I like that red chest. I hate these spiders. They're supposed to run away from you, and then every once in a while they just like run straight towards you. Oh, well, we didn't get a bomb, but I'm always happy with getting keys. Oh, and there's a bomb. Alright, so let's get this red chest here. Hopefully it'll not be a uh, bomb or garbage or anything. Oh, it's spider, sorry. Good. Good thing to use that bomb on. Oh, I had to start with the horns. One of my least favorite bosses. A lot of people's least favorite boss, it seems. Not like I'm taking some controversial stance by saying I'm not a big fan of the horns. Come on, ghosts. Don't down. Would have liked that bomb for here. But no, I had to get those spiders. Good use of my uh, resources there. So, you know, what is Isaac if you're not getting lots of spiders? It's not the same experience. Hello, cat. Six hours later, the haunt is almost dead. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll take help up. Help up is always uh quite welcome. You know, while I'm here, what's in this last room? I'm curious. Spiders. Spiders are everywhere. Hello, kitty. I'm recording this right when my cats are supposed to have dinner. Alright, um, yeah, we'll check out what's in here. Nothing, uh, you know, I could we you could weave through these, so, uh, oh well. Alright, weave through them well. I end up with uh, less health than I walked in with. So, you know, it's life. Can't just take all the easy routes in life. Gotta go the hard path sometimes. 
as I always say, you gotta go the hard path sometimes. Like I just said it a little while ago, so there's evidence that I say it. Try to disprove it. I dare you. You have two keys, that's wonderful. I've had way too many times where I just walk in with zero keys. But the game has been gracious to me. Oh, even more gracious. Skeleton key. Alright, there's the boss, but you know, no, I haven't even hit an item room. Haven't even seen the shop. Oh, and I, there was a double key room that I could go through now because I have a skeleton key. What are you staring at, Hillary? Hillary is my cat. I'm going to tell you all about her. Uh, five room? No, five room lets you go back and redo the floor. I might want to do that later. Right now, though, you know, we haven't even hit the item room yet. It would be really silly to redo the floor now. Uh, there's our item room. Okay, first let's go in the shop. We don't have enough money. That's okay. Who knows, maybe the item room will get me money. Oh, I should have bombed the other one. Please have a bomb in it. Yeah, alright. I forgot I had the skeleton key and could just open this without worrying. Something? Goathead! Awesome! Goathead guarantees you a deal with the devil or the angel. The black bean is terrible. Sure, wish I could have seen that with the uh, but uh, we have the curse of the blind, so no such luck there. I wonder if those Steam notifications show up in the recording. I'll have to check this video out later and see. Or you could tell me. You could tell me all about it. All my viewers who might or might not exist. I don't know if anyone's actually watching these. Like, YouTube claims, YouTube says there's like 90 or so viewers on each video, pretty much. But then when I look at the analytics, they say there's like four views. And I don't know what to make of that. I'm new to this whole posting stuff on YouTube thing. Like, in the past, I've posted like little videos here and there. But this is my first foray into like lots of videos. And, uh, check even caring much about analytics. So, alright, we have, uh, something. Wooden spoon, speed up. Oh, and we're going to the deal with the devil not knowing what it is. But you know what? I like risks, like I've said, so take it. Pentagram, good risk. Alright, damage up with the pentagram. And I'm going to redo this floor. Because, you know, we have a guaranteed deal with the devil. And why the hell not? So let's re-go. Re-go is a new word. Copyright twinkle. Alright, seller 2 again. I'll try to uh, go hastily through this one. 99 bombs I will absolutely take. Alright, now let's, oh, let's bomb through to there. Not like it uh, matters. We have uh, 97 more bombs. Oh, stay away. Let those coins scatter all over the place. Some of them difficult to get. But I don't want all of them, it's okay. Grab our spirit heart, rush through, just get, get to that boss room. You don't want to watch this same floor again for a long time, right? Or do you? Do you just like me so much that you'd be like, I'll watch Cellar 2 78 times. Maybe I should do the basement's run. Basement seed. For those who don't know, the basement seed is, uh, you just type basement into, um, the seed selector, and you play the basement over and over and over and over and over and over and over again until you die or you quit. And you're not likely to die given the fact that you're getting tons and tons of items. Alright. Keep going. Chugging along. Want to get to that boss room?
probably not going to have to worry too much about getting to boss rush in this run because we're already killing some time by playing Sally 2 over and over again. It's alright, I don't always want to fight boss rush. Oh, that's a nice time to get the skeleton key. I might as well check out the shop. Now that I can. Without worrying about using the key. Uh, blue map? Yeah, blue map shows you all secret rooms. And now that I have all these bombs, that's cool. We'll be visiting a lot more secret rooms. Secret rooms are a thing that I often just kind of ignore. Which is a bad idea. I mean, like, there's plenty of good stuff to be found in them. But usually I'm just don't really feel like wasting the bombs on walls if I'm not 100% sure they're going to be a secret room. But now, I mean, we know where the secret rooms are, and I don't have to worry about wasting them. Find Pin again. Because, uh, we're replaying the floor. I didn't know it would literally give me the same boss. That that was actually a surprise. I rarely take that re -roll, replay the floor nonsense. I was feeling adventurous this time. Toothpicks, uh, tears and shot speed up. And we got Krampus. That's okay. We're going to be getting more deals with the devil throughout the rest of the run, so... Cool. And I should have moved. I should have moved more. I'm garbage. Um, you know, I want to see what we re-roll that into. Horror of Babylon. Okay, not so great. But, you know, if I, uh, if I get a deal with the devil and get rid of those two red hearts, Horror of the Babylon will be great. Horror of the Babylon. Yeah, that's, that's the words I wanted to say. Toothpicks also turns your tears red. Usually the tears only turn red when you're getting more damage, but Toothpicks, I guess... Just feel like making your tears red. I guess since the toothpicks are holding your eyes open, it just uh, felt thematically fun. This is going to be a little bit of a long run, it seems, <laughs> with all the time I'm wasting. Going to challenge rooms, replaying floors. This is a bad time to start this run when I'm going to be having dinner soon. I guess I'll be waiting to have dinner. That's my dedication to you guys. I'll hold off on eating. Don't you feel lucky? You wonderful people who may or may not be watching this. Like, what? Ah, oh, damn it. Perfect, alright. Alright, we'll go to our secret room there, since we know where it is. Uh, nah, just blow you up. The two bombs. We used a bomb to get in, and a bomb to blow up the, the um, slot machine, and we got two bombs back. Everything worked out all right. I neither gained nor lost. Lots of grubs in this room. Game's being very generous with keys today. That's okay. It's fine by me. I'm glad that uh, my terrible plane doesn't affect my deal with the devil chances now that I have the ghost mask. Alright. I may even just like pause this recording in the middle to uh, have dinner. I could have not said anything. No, I, I couldn't have not said anything. No, no, you know what? I'm going to stick it through. I'm going to play this whole run and then I'll eat. Primarily because I don't have video editing software, and if I stopped and started, this would have to be two videos. I 
All right, item room. We get, ah, this curse of the blinds again. The bean. They're giving me so many beans. Well, at least I know and can re-roll re -roll this now. Chocolate. Oh no. Chocolate milk gives you charge shots, and I. Sh I. Son of a. All right. Well, you know that's life. It's the risks you take. I did not mean to hit the uh. The slot machine. The donation machine there. That's the risks you take when you got Curse of the Blinds. I hate chocolate milk. Some people like it. Some people don't. I don't. I mean, it's not bad. It's just I'm personally not a big fan of charge shots. Unless it's Brimstone. Uh, Samson's Lock, sure. I think, I believe Samson's Lock... There's a small chance for each enemy you kill that you'll um, get damage, a little bit of damage up for the rest of the floor. Rapid tapping instead of charging. Not a good idea because it's taking forever. Uh, if you, Chubb takes a lot of damage from bombs. If you hit, um, if you if he's charging at you, you could get a bomb in his open mouth. And it will not be good for him. Squeezy tears up, which doesn't matter because I have charge shots. And to uh, soul hearts. No, I'm going to risk it and take. I'm going to take both of these. Razor blade is terrible. And Lord of the Pit that lets me fly. We'll reroll. Can't reroll that. I don't have enough charge. Oh well. But we have Horror of Babylon now. That's good. That makes people happy. Can I get a battery and get back to the deal with the devil? A battery charge? Probably not. Well, we're gonna try. I only have to beat three more rooms to get that battery charge. And we're moving very fast now, so that's that's good. Uh, and there, none of the rooms have enemies in them, do they? What's in here? Oh, we only have one room. Okay, only have one room with enemies. Maybe the one of them will drop a battery? No. Wishful thinking. Oh well, it's all right. Um, the real point of getting those deal with the devil deals with the devil was to get down to no red hearts. And if I had just taken only the two red heart one, only the uh, Lord of the Pit, then, you know, I would have been left with the same amount of health. So there's really, whoa, that's a lot of coins. There's really no difference there. One day I should really refill that um, donation machine as I leave. <laughs> Uh, good at paying attention. The hanged man is useless because I could fly already. Three bombs, alright. Ah, chocolate milk. I would, I used, when I started playing the game, the first Binds of Isaac, I loved chocolate milk. Like, that's a great pickup. Eh, not so much anymore. Tears down, again, doesn't matter because of chocolate milk. Like, every once in a while, getting a charge shot off is nice, but it's just too unreliable. Like, if my aim is particularly off, it that kind of sucks. I mean, that's on me, either way. But at least I'm not wasting all the time with a charge shot if I don't have chocolate milk. Although, it's not a very long charge time in this one, it seems. Going to every single room and not find the damn uh, item or the boss. That's alright, we got a lot of health. Oh, there's the item. The game is giving us plenty of health. It's not being stingy on health, it's not being stingy on keys. 
And it's obviously not the incendium bombs. I'm sick of this curse of the blinds. Oh my god, mom's knife. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I don't want to say from this early that it's a one run, but mom's knife really helps with that. <laughs> Alright, risking everything again. Stop oh, okay, it's a one run. And Bogo Bombs is useless when I have 99 bombs. Alright, so stopwatch slows all enemies down. Combine that with the fact that I have Mom's Knife. I'm, I'm not losing this run. Something would have to go terribly, terribly, terribly wrong to lose this. I don't even know what that something would be. I, I can't think of a situation. Maybe if, like, I went blind. And then I'd have more things to worry about. I wouldn't be like, oh no, I'm blind. Now I'm gonna lose it, Isaac. Be like, oh no, I'm blind. My entire life is affected. Meet damage and health up. And. Alright, I'm kinda glad we didn't get actual items in this deal with the devil because. See, with the curse of the blinds, it's just. Ugh. Balls of steel, excellent. We'll hold on to the chariot in case we need to get out of a spike room. Ah, uh, I am so hungry. I gotta finish this. <laughs> I would have gone to the challenge room, but I gotta finish this run and have my foods. I have pizza waiting on me, guys. Uh, you know what? I'll hold on to this in case we want to do some reroll fun. Ah, uh, go through here. Damn it. At least, uh, we're not gonna have much trouble with any of this. Like, it might take me a little longer than I'd like to beat this run due to all my, uh, dilly-dallying. But we're not in danger. That's the main thing. This is going to be a another tally on my uh, one streak. It'll become a whopping two streak. Everyone will be jealous of that. Oh, nothing going on here. Oh, come on, don't teleport right when I'm about to kill you. It's just incredibly rude. I don't even want to look at what those pills are. I don't care about no stinking pills. Oh, the ghosts. I hate the ghosts. Not hard at all, just annoying as hell. I get hit. Ah, uh, there's our boss room, but still haven't found the item room. No, we have. Oh no, that was the last floor I had mom's knife. Right? Yeah. Okay. Don't forget our 48 hour energy. I did. I got mom's knife in the other. Yeah, yeah, I haven't revealed the. Okay. Because I fought a boss between that. So I'm blanking on what boss I fought. Oh well. Yep, there we go. There's the item room. And the shop. Uh, garbage. Garbage. Nah. Alright, I'll take that for safety, even though I'm not gonna lose. And let's reroll in here, too. There's no batteries in here? Damn it. Um, nah, I'm not gonna reroll. I'll hold that for the boss. Alright. 
Alright, so we're coming on to another boss. We're going the wrong way. Now we're coming on to another boss. War. Uh, Alright, so that guarantees it's going to be a ball of meat or bandages. I'll come back and see if there's anything I want to re-roll in here. Um, I'll take Guppy's Collar just in case. Just in case I could turn that into uh, more Guppy items. I could get more Guppy items with it. Range up. Alright. Still going. Crapless 2. And that Spirit Heart that we found got gave us a chance to get a good... Oh wait, we're out of a uh, Horror Babylon, I forgot. But um, I'll have to use whatever deal with the devil I find this time. This coming time to get that back. Oh, he was a uh, champion. Alright. He's an exploding champion. Explode pin. Alright. I like that the end the my thing here is not play so I can win. It's play faster so I can eat. I really wish I could have recorded this earlier in the day, but I had work, so no luck there. We are loaded up on health. Okay. No item room yet? Nah, I gotta find that item room. It's, a, it's the principal thing. I'm not gonna bother with that health up pill unless... not. Nah, I won't even bother then. There's no reason to use health up because I want to go back into Horror of Babylon. Curse the blinds again? Alright, well, that does nothing for me right now. I should really pay attention and notice. Oh, yeah. I want to. Good thing I unlocked that. Could never have gotten there if I hadn't unlocked that. Come on, come on. Where's the item room? You gotta be here, item room. You gotta be somewhere nearby. Really, I'm going everywhere but the item room. Alright, there's the item room. It's gonna be something bad with all that holding on and like making sure, and it's curse of the blind, so I don't even know. All right, <laughs> fantastic. Infestation—that is the one where if you get hurt, it makes blue flies come out. But at least I have um BFF, the BFF, whatever it is, the one that increases the strength of your um helpers. Alright, it's a good thing we didn't want to do boss rush because we are way over the time. Oh, this is the red variant? Yeah, because it's stomping real fast. This is Red Mom. Red Mom stomps a lot faster, stomps like all the time except for an occasional shot from uh, the eyes. Alright, that's something. Headless baby. Okay, whatever. I'll take it, and we're back in, um, what's it called? Horror Babylon mode. And it has to be a labyrinth floor. Okay. It really had to be a labyrinth floor. That, that, that's what we had to do here. Thanks. Luck. Alright. I'm not even gonna bother with the secret rooms. I'm doing suboptimal play and skipping even secret rooms that I know are there and I can easily get to because I want to eat my dinner.
this this makes it too easy. <laughs> the knife and the stopwatch. Oh, I thought I could just kind of run through them with the uh with the knife. No biggie. A little bit of damage never hurt anyone except it did because that's literally what damage does. No challenge rooms. We gotta get through this. Alright, I'll, I'll hit the secret room. Alright, yeah, keys, sure. Who knows what uh, chests I'll run into in the chests. Uh, okay, go down. I'll get that key in a minute. Alright, come on. Now we don't want the health up pill because we're not increasing health. Alright, this way. This way has got to be the boss. I decree it. This way still. I'm, I haven't been proven wrong yet. Go to like little pokes to blow up the judgments here. Alright, come on, come on. Boss, this way. I'm ha the, the game's trolling me by making me wait this long. I'm half expecting the boss to be a pizza somehow. There's no pizza boss programmed into the game, but it'll happen. That's the Isaac Troll engine for you. <clears throat> a million poops. Sounds like a, a terrible novel title. The Million Poops. I'd read it, though. I'd be very curious as to, you know, what the hell is going on in that story. <laughs> stabby stabby re-roll that I shouldn't have taken the hell oh, that was really dumb but you know what I'm doing enough damage anyway it's not like uh, we're in dire straits for damage stay just out of range of the slowed down bullets avoid them there and we're on to the cathedral. We're two levels away from winning. And I'm two levels away from pizza. You can the struggle is real. These guys I have to be careful with, even if they are slow, because they will always explode. Paralysis had to hold me another moment. Alright. This way. It's going to be up. The boss is up. Hey, yeah, I was right. I mean, I know. Alright, we're gonna finish off Isaac. Not a problem. No probalo. Try to figure out what length of time I have to hold this to uh, just poke him. Come on, Isaac. Die. Alright, and the chest. Last level. Pizza is so close I can taste it. 
Not literally, because that's what I would like to be doing, literally. Uh, Book of Sins, Guillotine, Scorpio, and the Pope. Reroll all those. Let's we'll take Common Cold, which is the same thing as Scorpio, I believe. Alright, all we gotta do is beat this floor. Grab our lemon party back. Ah, this room. I just hope I don't have to go back to the red poop room. I hate the red poop room. Ah, alright, alright. I gotta stop playing so hasty. I'm hungry, but I'm not hungry enough to get sacrifice the uh, the victory here. Oh, 48 hour energy. Yeah, sure. Oh, I forgot about the red poop. Damn it! Oh, as tempting as that uh, forget me now is. Hot bombs make your bombs be all fiery, which is cool. I don't need that. Alright, next poop room is red poop room. Alright, I remembered. That red poop room is like the bane of my existence in the, um, in the chest. And it sucks a lot when you have um, the knife or brimstone, things that, no, not brimstone, whichever things it is that make it hard to destroy poop in front of you. I think brimstone does that. Sure, why not? Oh, actually, you know what? We have that. Might as well go back, pick up that, oh, red poop room, pick up that prayer card. Use it for the extra help. Pick the D6 back up. Alright, red poop room coming up. Please let this be the right way. You know you want to be the right way. The haunt is so easy with the knife. Yes, it was the right way. Super. Fantastic. And it's boss time. That's what I meant to do. Come on. Go down. Go down. Go down. You so go down so I can eat my pizza. Yes! And that is a victory. Uh, you know, that was a guaranteed victory once I had the knife and the stopwatch. So, nothing to be super proud of. But, it's still a victory. A victory is a victory nonetheless. And now I'm going to go have my dinner. Thanks for watching me play this kind of hastily done run. Have a good one. Tootaloo.